everyone, welcome back to Chilling with Chilly. Still indoors, weather wet outside. Um, so today I'm doing a sauce that I picked up from the Hot Sauce Society and I met Liam who's um, who does devil dog sauces. I've had Liam sauces before and even now I can forget, I can't forget the Gochugaru sauce yet. It was my favourite, it was a ginger hot sauce and I bought a bottle of that as well. But I'm not reviewing it again because I've done it once divine yeah so i had to get some more of liam sauces so this one is the ancho grenade and apple apple barbecue sauces three chilies so it's not megaly hot midway um i'll just quickly show you the logo it's simple i, I love the devil dog sauces so I'll have a look at that the dog with the with the horn on the top and the sauce itself I have a just just look at that color of that sauce it's beautiful it's rich lush and it's smooth so it's a barbecue sauce so here we go Flavour worth selling your soul for. Yeah, so it's flavoursome. Now, they're based in Manchester in England. Um, let me check anything else out. So, marrying five different Mexican chilies brings a deep, smoky and sweet flavour with a moderate heat to the sauce. Right, so here we go. Um, enriched with a sweet and sour blend of apple and demerara sugar. So I can say really, I can't even say it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. So um, this is your this is your go-to sauce for all things barbecue and fried, but also a winner on your breakfast and eggs. So you know, it's, it, it's hit the note, hasn't it? Barbecue fried chips are going in there. Chip, chips are going in there. Ingredients: apple juice, passata, water, onion, cayenne chilies, ancho grenade chili. So that's two chilies. Sea salt, garlic, chipotle chili. Smoked paprika, cumin seeds, cinnamon, balsamic vinegar, demerara sugar, and apple. Now, there's nothing in bold there, so there's no allergens to this one. No allergens, but you've got three different chilies. So you've got your uh, you've got your cayenne chilies, your ancho chilies, and your chipotle chilies. So the chipotle would have the smokiness to it, yeah. So the barbecue, beautiful smokiness, and the others will probably have add the heat. It's a three um, three chili heat, so midway. But there's nothing for it. Let's just give it a shake. It's a thick one. You can just about hear it glooping about in there. Now, yeah, I shook it up now, so you can't see the pour because obviously with this one, I'll see if I can get it down. Yay! But you guys, just check this out. I'm going to put the logo there. So I love his logo, Devil Doll. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a thick pour. No, you can't see it. Trust me, it's a thick pour. Right, so here we go. And this is so much nicer because I've just got a little bit to rip off here. Now, the aroma time. Right, I can't detect the chilies, but I can detect the sugar, the caramelization, the sticky, the barbecue type smell because you've got the smokiness in there. So, all of those flavors that are just like lush. So, like a normal barbecue sauce, but it's going to have a bit of a kick because you've got different chilies in it. Nothing for it. Let's pour it. Ha, I love that one. Nothing for it. Let's pour it. Here we go. And now let's just try and get it in the spoon. Okay, it's not really well, um, what's the word, coming out. So I've got a bit in there. Now look at that. It looks like a lush, lush, like chutney, like a plummy sauce. It hasn't got plums in it, but nothing for it. Hold on. Again, the smokiness, the sweetness, the sugary, uh, apple that sort of aroma coming from it. Nothing major on the heat level. It's a three chilli. Here we go. Thank you, Liam, for this one. Nothing for it. Down the hatch. Wow. That is nice. Um, very apple-y, barbecue-y, sugar coming in. For me... There is zero heat, I can't taste the heat, but you know what, it's about flavour, it's a really flavoursome sauce. Um, oh my god, it's mouth-watering, I'm going to have to try and get some more out of that bottle. I probably won't get any more out because it's decided not to move. Okay, I've got myself another spoonful of this because it is just lush. Mmm. But it's nice. You can, you can detect the apples. Um... Wow, the sugar, the demerara sugar in there. I'm just going to quickly check. Chili-wise, I'm saying it's a zero chili. It's got three chilies on it, so if you don't eat chilies, it might be a four or a five for you. But it's not a hot sauce. It's more about flavour. Just see what else that came through. Yes, the, the, the garlic came through, the cumin came through, and 
the, the heat from the cinnamon, but you know, that, that sort of apple pie, sort of Christmassy type of feel. That's that's the sort of flavour it is. It's a apple, uh, apple barbecue sauce that is very, with the cinnamon in it, and the apples in it, it reminds me of Christmas, you know, that, that sort of time. I think usage, as I said, you can start with your breakfast in the morning, your eggs, etc., in the morning, and anything barbecue, anything barbecuey, and anything fried. This will just go perfectly. I wouldn't put it in cooking because I think it's too nice to put it in cooking and lose that flavour. I would dip with it, dip anything with it, anything you can dip. Um, use it on your chips, all of those sort of things. It's not very hot, it's not hot at all. I think, in fact, saying that it's four or five is probably overreaching. It might even be, but for anybody who doesn't eat chilies, this might be fine because now that the, the, the heat that in my mouth has completely subsided, so it was initial heat in the mouth, but it wasn't hot, hot, it was just warming. So anyone who doesn't eat chilies, this would be perfect for you. It's, if you like barbecue sauces, the rich, lush barbecue sauces, this is one for you. Okay, thank you, Liam, for making this sauce. And the Ancho Grenade Apple Barbecue Sauce. Guys, you know what to do out there, don't you? If you like this sauce, order, 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 like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.